first off, Mark, well, welcome to Love Film. It's Thank actually you. a pleasure to have you here. Um, how's it going? It's going well. It's yeah? going well. Excited to be in London, talking with you guys. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, first off, I think I kind of have to recite the strap line of this film to you, because I think it sums it up quite okay. nicely. Boy meets girl. Girl, boy falls in love, not girl falls in love, boy falls in love, um, but girl doesn't. Uh -huh. This this film is not your average romantic comedy, is yeah. it? I think that uh, this was a exploration of, uh, I think, uh, a part of a time in your life more than anything else. Because I think what's what I've been so surprised about by this film is the male reaction. All mm. the male journalists I know that have seen this film have absolutely <laughs> loved it. Like, uh -huh. I think it's... Um, it's told, you know, very strictly from the from the from the guy's point of view, but I also think it's a character that women can relate to. But I think that I think guys, there is just a dearth, there is a lack of this kind of movie about relationships that's told from from yeah. uh, the guy's point of view, and I think so. It fills a little bit of a void in that respect. Yeah. I think I identify with both of them actually. Yeah. Um, and then I also wanted to talk to you about the music in the film because uh -huh. it's a cracking soundtrack. Were you yeah. pretty adamant from the beginning that you'd spend quite a lot of time, because it felt like you'd spent a lot of time and effort thinking about the songs yeah, that you wanted well, to do, they were quite I mean, pertinent. The, you know, Tom's worldview is informed by pop culture, by the movies he sees, and by the music he listens to. That's in the narrative of the film. So it goes, uh, it goes without saying that that should be an important part of the film itself, mm. the texture of the film, you know. Is there a particular song in the soundtrack that kind of sums up the movie for you, if there one that kind of... Evokes memories. Um, you know the Regina Spector song that is called "Us," which is uh, the opening credit song. I think uh, the lyrics of that I think are really, um, are really telling. Um, and my very last question to you: I'm really curious to know about some of the films that have inspired you. Obviously, we've spoken about Woody Allen and Cameron yeah. Crowe, but are there any sort of particular films that um, you love? You watch and repeat. There is. Uh, there, there's so many. I mean, any Woody Allen movie, I'll watch over and over again. A lot of the Truffaut movies I'm a big fan of. Is there anything you're excited about coming up that you're excited about seeing you've not seen yet? I'm excited about seeing The Lovely Bones. I'm excited about seeing The Cove. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about seeing um, Ooh, I mean there's, there's a lot coming up. I want to see Nine. I'm very curious I to see Daniel see Day Lewis sing. Yeah. Like, forget about it. I'm in. I've already <laughs> bought my ticket. Um, <laughs> There's, uh, there's, uh, you know, there's, there's uh, exciting up. times, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is cool. I think it's been an okay year for for movies. Up, oh, I thought was fantastic. There's been a yeah. lot of good movies. On that note, Mark, thank you very much. Thank Talk you. Thank you.